This tutorial will show you how to clothe a MetaHuman in Unreal Engine 5 using Marvelous Designer 10. This process is the same when using Marvelous Designer 11 or Unreal Engine 4. This tutorial is for Unreal Engine users familiar with the problems of MetaHuman body parts protruding through Marvelous Designer clothing. The fix is fairly tricky and can be confusing. Please let us know in the comments if you would prefer a longer, slower deep dive video. Perhaps we can do a live stream to answer your questions. Please also tell us your time zone. Why does clothing clip into a MetaHuman? Because Unreal Engine cannot correctly export an animated MetaHuman with both body and head as a single FBX file. This FBX file is needed for animated cloth simulation inside Marvelous Designer which cannot import multiple animated FBX files. To try and solve this, you would export a preview mesh of the MetaHuman. However, this presents two problems. The preview mesh does not also export the post-process blueprint which runs the morph targets which are present on a fully working MetaHuman. Since the muscle bulging doesn't match the full MetaHuman, the cloth sim clips into the body. The other problem exists since MetaHuman Creator was updated. The preview meshes included with a MetaHuman export no longer have heads. Animating cloth on a headless body is most often useless. A MetaHuman can be exported, body and head separate, but we failed to get a perfectly combined FBX out of Blender. We suspect Maya would work perfectly, although we don't use Maya at all. We found a workaround, which is a direct workflow from Unreal Engine to Marvelous Designer and back to Unreal, with no intermediate software used, except for the textures. Hey, welcome back to Virtual. In this episode, I'll show you the workflow I use to clothe metahumans in Marvelous Designer and how to import the clothing. The biggest issue that we face is when the clothes stick through the body while animating. As you can see on the screen. And now I will show you how to fix that. So starting from scratch, you will need to go to your MetaHumans preview mesh, find the one that corresponds to the body you use. I'm using a male tall narrow weight body. So look for the same preview mesh. Usually the preview meshes came with heads, which we want, because otherwise when you clothe the MetaHuman in Marvelous Designer, your cloth will go into the head gap, the neck. We don't want that. So since Epic updated their MetaHuman creator, the preview meshes no longer come with the heads. So if you have a old project um, that has the heads, you can just go import the preview mesh from there or I will give you a link in the description below to all the preview meshes with the heads on. The next step would be to import a preview mesh with the head on. I'm using a male tall narrow weight body so I'll just import that when you import it, make sure you select the MetaHuman base skeleton and you do want to import the mesh. The rest you can leave on default. You can just leave the preview mesh in this folder. Uh, you'll use it a bit later on. Alright, now head to your animation clip that you use for your MetaHuman. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. You have a post-process animation blueprint for your specific male tall narrow weight um, body. If you enable and disable this, you can see that the morph targets change. And this is the reason why if you um, just take the preview mesh as normal, your body will clip through the clothing. So, to fix this, go to your preview mesh that you just imported and then on the left hand side in asset details, scroll all the way down to 
post-process animation blueprint. There you look for the correct body and you select that one. And then you save. You close that down, go back to your animation and then you want to go to the preview mesh animation scroll down and look for your um, skeletal mesh, the preview mesh with the post process on if you don't have it on then in your animation there will not be a option to dis enable and disable it so you need that option selected now as your animation moves your morph targets match your original animation perfectly. Okay, from here you have to apply to asset and then in this um, animation um, file you have to go to export asset and then preview mesh. I have already exported mine just give it a name, save and then you carry on and now it's over to Marvelous Designer. In Marvelous Designer import your character clothe your character it helps if you start with an A pose or a T pose before the animation head to your animation and then simulate take note if you are working in 60 frames per second you have to go to time step and change this to 0 0.1666666 and then I find it best working in real time seam time warp 1 and then you do your simulation I just have it at low quality for this tutorial I also find that the best results for animating the clothing in Marvelous is if you put the number of simulations on one once your simulation is done and you're ready for export uh, take note that my frames are currently 730 but in Unreal Engine, it is close to double that amount. Um, that is, for some reason, Marvelous Designer halves it. And if you want to export at 60 frames per second, when you export, just make sure you put scene time warp on 2, then it will double your frames. I don't render, I don't simulate at scene time warp 2 because then it slows down the cloth animation. Um, or it makes the cloth animation look like it's going in slow-mo and I don't want that okay so scene time warp 2 we have our 1460 frames file export Alembic Ogawa then name it save I have thick, you have to, if for texturing, you have to have unified UV coordinates on 60 frames per second because that's what I'm using, entire play region, and OK. Once the export is done, head back to Unreal Engine, import. You want to make sure you are on geometric cache, your file, your frame number, and at the bottom, 3ds Max gives the right orientation of the clothing. Save your file. After importing your clothing to the scene, drag it in. While selected, go to your sequencer, add your clothing to the sequencer, go to track, geometry cache, I am going to just
put my start range at minus 60 because that aligns with my body and then you just zero everything out I am just using uh, shift right mouse button, shift left mouse button to copy and paste the transforms um, from the character to the clothing. And then point, point eight. And there we go. Drag and drop your texture. If you want to know how to texture the clothing, I use Quixel Mixer. Um, when in Marvelous, before exporting, um, go to UV Editor. Make sure all your UVs are properly in the box with nothing touching each other. Then you export OBJ, go to Quixel Mixer, then you go to Setup, Custom Model, then select that OBJ file and assign the right. Um, materials to your clothing. I went into Blender and did some color ID setup for my clothing so that I could assign the correct materials to the um, clothing. Then you just export back in Unreal Engine. You just create a uh, clothing, get all your files, link them up, I don't use half of them. I just link up what I can. And then you just drag and drop. Simple as that. If you have any further questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you and try and assist you as best as I can.